Hi, this is Raya, and for today I'm going to highlight some of my Peperomea or other known as the radiator plant. Peperomea or radiator, radiator plant are tiny, small, little perennial epiphytes that grow at the ground surface. Uh, or at the rotten woods so um, they don't really need much of um, like sunlight just mid sunlight um, they are fine with it and also they they don't need a lot of um, watering since they grow under the surface they just get like like a little bit of mist of water so what I do here with my peperomea, peperomeas, I do give some misting. I miss them from time to time. And um, you don't need to water them since also they have this quite fleshy, uh, succulent type of leaves. So that means they can really hold quite a long period of um, moisture, moisture in, their, in their parts. Um, Soil mix, they, they like a well-draining but really rich soil. So, yeah. First one I got he here is the Peperomea verticillata or the red lug. As you can see, it has this um, uh, red uh, stem and also uh, red color underneath, which reminds reminds me of that expensive, oops, expensive uh, shoes, uh, Lobotan. Hmm. The red sole underneath. Second one is my Peperomea pixie, um, quite really attractive among the Peperomeas. It has this neon in color, and if you look close by or closely, it has this like pixie dust, dark pixie color in the leaves, really um, thick leaves as well. Next one is the Peperomea tetra, quite really compact um, Peperomea, and also it has this dark. Um, dark margin uh, on its leaves which give give it quite a, a very nice definition of the leaves so uh, it's not only sim as simple as green but it has this white uh, I mean like dark margin mm. then the, the next one is my Peperomea capirata russo has an eling elongated um, elongated shape of leaves with also nice uh, folds or ridges in its leaf it has red underneath and quite silver in color when it get exposed by sunlight next is my um, peperomea peperomea asperola or, or other known as the peperomea taco because it, of its folded leaves as you can see that resembles like a taco uh, beautiful plant as well next one is my peperomea i'll get it peperomea of the sifulia green can we see it clear easily peperomea of the sifulia green like quite um massive um massive size of leaves also um thick and has this leather leather and smooth um, texture of the leaves then next one is my peperomea hope peperomea hope with a circular or like a, a coin coin like um shape of the leaves and it also have a tiny bit of fold or line in its leaves then next one is my peperomea piccolobanda this is a beautiful peperomea as you can see it has these beautiful detailed dark um, lines dark fold in its leaves and it has this um bit of a wrinkle um, venation of the leaves and also in a heart shape in a heart shape detail yeah then next one is my peperomea rana birdie 
I grew it from one single cutting and look how it is but unfortunately it got infected by a type of bug so I lost quite a few leaves but it's bouncing back as you can see there's tiny growth out there look beautiful then I have this one which is also like a cousin of Peperomea a cousin of Peperomea but they are in a Tylea family but it's uh, unfortunately it's not doing well this is a Chinese money plant or or what it's called as Pilea peperomaidis mm, it wrinkled and I think it's dying yeah so that's all for my peperomea and they are really fun to grow and I hope you will find some peperomea as well and give you a chance to have um, some peperomea as your um, plant as one as in your plant collection so they're not too bad to to um, care so they are just like in a form of succulent care so not too bad thank you so much for listening and watching and i'll see you next time bye bye